Greetings from Far North Queensland and I'm actually up in Cairns at the moment. Well, today what we're doing is we're doing a bit of a historical railway tour. So actually pretty interesting. So this railway, it's really a tribute and a monument to the, the hardworking men of the 1800s. So this railway was built in 1890 and 1500 men worked on this railway, carving stone and the rock out on the mountaintops and they had to use their own tools, so pretty brutal. But today what we're doing is we're really uh, just taking a train trip, just enjoying it, and so it's called the Carandal Railway. So scenic Railway. Scenic Railway, it's pretty scenic. Pretty scenic. I've actually uh, never really been on a railway tour before. Um, so what, what I would say for that is I sort of thought, oh, it's an hour and 50 minutes worth of train journey. Oh, that sounds awful, but actually it goes really- Plus two. <laughs> yeah, both, both directions. So it's actually not that bad because I don't actually think it's bad at all. It's actually really good because you're not actually like if you're in a car traveling and not enjoying it, you're out here, you're looking out and there's a, all of a sudden there's a waterfall and then, then there's like a tunnel and then you hear a bit of history that like the, the Aboriginals have a sacred rock by there, but I'm really enjoying the railway. And I think it, once again, it's like, it, it calls the echo and the echo of the gold rush. And that's really, that's why we're here. And that's why this was built. So the echoes of the gold rush, you know, the, the quick rich scheme of go work on a railway, get, get paid a pretty, pretty, you know, good salary, but honestly, it's really hard work. And that's what uh, all the workers have been sort of saying. And you can see it in the photos, the old historical photos that all the workers, right, Gita, they all looked mm -hmm. really tired and hard. And yes. it was a hard, hard life hard and life. a hard, a hard journey. But well, what- Imagine, sorry. Imagine even like before they had the rail because they obviously there was a gold rush and then they decided to build the rail How would you get up here? We walk. That's the, take a horse. the epic take surveyors. A horse there's no road. The mules, yeah. It's crazy. A lot of deaths uh, I and imagine like all would have happened. And rivers as well and waterfalls and rocks like you have to climb and mm. without any equipment that we have nowadays it's just so hard to imagine. Mm. If you wanted to work on this railway line and you know get the get the money from the foreman of digging hard with your hand tool of your hand hand your iron pick through the rock through the sweat and the tears and the blood yeah. you had to bring your own one so they didn't provide that i thought you know bloody lousy foreman won't even give me a bloody pickaxe and i come and slave <laughs> away at these drop so yeah i think we're about halfway up the railway journey at the moment as trains just stopped at the moment so we're going to Karanda, which I, I've heard is a bit of a hippie town. Is it hippie? Yeah. I think it's very touristy, but it's supposed to be just very cute. So the train we're on, I actually uh, really enjoy it as well. So these carriages were built in 1900 and what was it called? What, what material was it? It was shiny oak or silky, silky, silky oak. oak. So apparently that's not a real reusable material. So a bit frowned upon today, but you can really see the hand appreciation and hand dedication of the craftsman making that and I feel like um in today's manufacturing you just don't see that sort of that sort of care and quality and pride I think the pride is the word so there's that pride in these carriages and I think it enhances your journey when you're coming up in the the stark contrast between the big cliffs and like you know sheer cliff deep rainforest and then the pride of your railway that you built with your 1500 men and your your hand-built carriages from 1900 beautiful yeah, supposed to hop back on when trains are making sounds yeah we'll get back on <laughs> National Engineering, the Institution of Engineers Australia landmark. Tell you what, impressed me. This is a pretty cool statue as well. Well, we made it to Karanda, so the epic railway journey uh, complete in, I believe it took 10 years to build. I'll double check that. But yeah, it took us about an hour and 50 minutes, one stop, and really interesting, really historical, and I think that's 
that's what you want on one of those trips so I would recommend it no I loved the train and it was just so beautiful to look out like I thought it would be a long time like they said one hour fifty I'm like one hour one five or five zero one hour fifty minutes um but it's just so much to look at yeah and now we're really here quick. That's very cute. So let's check out Karanda and yeah, Look subscribe that. if you enjoy it and see you later. Let's see what's around Karanda. I think it's a pretty small town. What That's do you reckon? Look how cute that is. Yeah, it looks pretty small. Oh yeah, wow. Look They're at this bench. <laughs> yeah, so see you later. It took you a second to figure out what that was.